Hey, good evening, everybody. All right, I've been offline for a while because I went up to Kansas and tried to fish up there, and it's very, very windy up there. But uh, I have got an upgrade for my kayak. Uh, actually, several, several upgrades. Uh, I know I haven't done a review on these two kayaks. Uh, Y'all have probably been seeing pieces of me and my wife out there with these. These are very good. Right. Uh, right now, that's about it. I'm gonna be mounting the camera on my hat so you can see me as I work because the two things we're gonna do today uh, is this kayak now has to have all the lights. I mean, there's one light already here that, I, that mounts in the back of the, the boat, which is the, anch the anchor light. But when you're moving, you have to have the green and the red light, the, the navigating lights. So I'm going to be installing that and we're going to upgrade from my hummingbird, which uh, it actually comes off my bass boat, so it's got to go back. I am actually going to put a new Lowrance um, sonar with GPS on here so that we can map where we've been and I, it'll be a little bit, a little bit um, newer newer features and easier to see in the in broad daylight so um, anyway here we go all right let's go ahead and get this open so we can um, see what we've got this should be the light and wow that's not very big all right all right so this one's empty now all right what i've got here is i have ordered i have ordered these are the little plugs What I've ordered is I've ordered the connectors for my accessories. And there's one more thing in here that comes as a set. Now this is what you can mount flush. And so all you see is just this and then it has a cover. So you can cover it and plug it up so you're not going to get dirt and water in it. And that way <clears throat> you can just take this off. It'll, it'll stay there. And then you can go ahead and plug in your your power from your whatever you want to power up any any 12 12 volt unit this is going to work great for my crappie light that way i can quickly connect it and disconnect it from a power source all right <clears throat> i think i know what this is this is a red and green uh nav lights and these nav lights are going to go on the left and right of my kayak. Uh, we'll have to drill a hole to run the, the red and the green so I don't have to have it up on top and they can just permanently stay here. Um, and I'll probably put them on the side because I don't want them interfering with my with with my navigation in the dark. Otherwise you'll have, if you, in other words, if you put them on top, it's gonna shine light in your eyes. So that's what these are and I ordered two one for me and one for my wife's kayak. All right. All right. This is going to be my voltmeter. Uh, our other shipment was two batteries. Two batteries for the kayaks these are only 35 amp hours so 10 hours basically um, 10 hour batteries and this my wife's will have a switch that has a voltmeter on it I have one over here I don't know if you can see that and it already has a voltmeter but this one is is running off the battery that goes in the back that that powers the uh, the uh, sonar 
or the GPS sonar. Um, and it tells me what the voltage is in the back. And it runs the navigation light. Now, I'm going to separate the troll motor battery from everything else. So I know how much power I have left in the troll motor. So that's what this is. And this, it's actually a blue. It's supposed to be. We haven't tried it yet. It's supposed to be a blue LED to match the other blue switch panel. So that's what that's what that that is. All right. The next item is I ordered from Amazon is I ordered the troll motor quick connect. So that's another item we we're going to have to install so that my battery is always connected. Always um, the battery is always connected to this port. All I got to do is remove my troll motor so I can uh, tow it without it breaking something. Well, you know, you know how the road can get kind of rough. So it's best to remove your troll motor and put it in your car. And when you get there, you just quickly connect it and install it and connect it. All right. So here's the other package is the Lowrance. This is the hook to 4X GPS bullet. So this is what we're installing now on the kayak. All right. Just to fill you in where we're at. This is the battery I normally have in the back of the kayak. Here's my my um, transducer wire. Okay, so we've got to remove this transducer wire. But we also have to remove the transducer. I think we can still use the same holes in there. This wire, I've been using it for my crappie light, but we're going to change that. We're going to have um, plug-ins on this side, and I'm going to try to put plug-ins on this side so that we can plug in the crappie light. Get all this silicone off. Now, I don't want to lose this because I'll show you what we're going to do. We're going to use this, and this is a electrical term, we're going to use this to fish the wire out. And I got a little trick for that. And all we need is one, really. This is the transducer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rope it because one of them goes all the way to the back. This one just goes right here. But we're going to try to pull multiple wires here somehow. We're still thinking as we go along. I need to take that off too. You know, a T. I think these are marked with a T for yeah, T means transducer. <clears throat> and we just 
してたよな That's a real tiny transducer. If I pull it through like this, then it could hang on something. So what we're going to do is we're, we're going to cheat by leading the point, the tip. Okay? So we went through our waterproof lid. We're going to silicone that. This will go all the way through. And then once we get over there, we're going to pull the power wire back to the power box. But we're going to have to pull a lot of wires back to the power box. But anyway, that's what we're doing here. put a block and I couldn't remember how I did this but I put a block here where this is all the common uh, grounds they're all hooked up in the same spot okay, one comes from the battery one goes to the backlight one goes to the tr back with this one up to here okay, and this one is that one all right so we're gonna have to open that up out. so we're gonna pull this one out and this one out Okay guys, <laughs> I had to cut a square hole to get this huge connector back in through there. So anyway, um, so anyway, I got this in here. So there's my transom, my um, transducer. So now we're going to have to backtrack with the other one back over there. That's going to be a burger too. Since it may be hard to get this through the hole over there, I'm going to pull the orange string this way and then bring back the power wire back over here. Straight 
comes out. Um, where did I leave my electrical tape? Alright, so we're going to rope it again. to tape it just so it doesn't hang on anything All right. so now we're going to pull my old power wire part was when I first did this to get it to go all the way over there that's what you call fishing fishing a wire out because this this kayak does not have any access underneath other than that this doesn't even go very far I had to actually drill some holes that was actually a left or right controller that you can swap it from here to there and what I did is I went ahead and uh, that you could use that as a cup holder but I used it as from a control box. It worked perfect. All right. So now we put this unit away. All right. So now we have this. We're going to use as a power wire for a bank. This is our inducer so we are going to go that way with it but we need to pull in one more and we're going to line it up line it up with that make it better and make it easier for y'all so um, she wants me to explain how I did this all right what I did is I don't know if you can see this now it's kind of dark but I drilled the hole here you know that I drilled the hole here now it's very difficult to run a wire <laughs> all the way and hit this hole but I was already going to drill holes here for my troll motor connection and my meter so what I did is I just ran the wire to here and then pulled it in other words ran it straight through pulled it out and then tied my tied the other end of the light and pulled it out to this hole then I put the wire in this hole and came out that hole and then came all the way through and pulled the wire out now we had to go from here to here so what I did is I just said, all right, well, let me just bend the wire in that shape. So when I stuck it in here, when I stuck it in here, immediately you can see the wire come out here. And I just pulled the, pulled the, the clothes hanger out, passed my cables back out here, taped it together, and pulled it out. So we, uh, we managed to, to fish the wires out now this end as you remember had this for my crappie light I won't be needing this anymore so this is going to be for for my hookups between my meter and my troll motor so it'll constantly read what voltage is left on the battery okay so that's what that's going to be for so we're recycling that I am warming up my soldering iron and guys remember when you're warming up your soldering iron make sure you do not burn your kayak 
okay? I've seen people do that. Uh, they accidentally drop the soldering iron on their kayak and it will melt a hole pretty quick. And this material is not fireproof. All right, so what we're going to do right now is basically we're just going to join all these wires together. Um, I'm going to strip this just a little bit more. I just want to make sure that once I get this together, I am not going to have any issues with wires disconnecting behind the wall. I want to be trouble free fishing uninterrupted. Especially on the water. It's very, very uncomfortable to be on the water and having problems. So do the job right. I want to test this in a minute. Do the job right while you're on the shore. Because wandering around a kayak on the water is not good. <coughs> I want to test, test to make sure I got the polarity. On the LED lights, the polarity is very important. So, <coughs> there it goes. Okie doke. So that's working. We got the polarity right. Now we're just going to touch it up with a little bit of solder. Now don't make fun of my soldering because. Never said I was an expert. Put a wire nut and some tape on it and shove it behind the wall. All right, I think this is important. All right, so there is a positive and a negative. So there's positive, negative. I got them in color. This is going to read my battery. I think I've told you that before. So when you put this in here, this is exactly the size I need. Okay, but when you put this in here, you've got to get a nut behind it. You gotta get a nut behind it to hold this in place. So the nut which I misplaced now. Oh okay. The nut won't fit through the hole. So what I did is I cut a little little slot. Just a little slot right there. Okay, what I'm going to do, so I don't lose the nut into the bo bottom of the boat, I'm going to just slip it right through here. Okay, then I'm going to swing it around. Get tricky, guys. Get tricky. No, okay. Let's try this again. What I'm trying to do is, is unwind this. So that I can wind it. got that. Now we're going to drill a hole probably just down here so that we can go straight over there with the uh, battery cable. Hey guys, I'm going to show you real quick what I did. Is what I've done is I've joined, okay, I don't know if you can see this in the camera, but there's a, a large slot and a small slot. Basically the large one is always a negative and the small slot is always a positive. So what I've done is I've hooked up the positive from here to here, and you can see the red, and the negative on the large one on this side. So basically this little meter is just looping around and reading the voltage 
in the battery. And see that little slot that I had cut in there to get my nut for that? This is going to cover that up. That's why I cut it up here rather than here because this is where the screw was going to go. So this will cover that up. Okay, so now we're just going to put our screws in there. And I am going to have to do something to make sure this wire doesn't fall in. Because when I was working on it over here, I almost lost the wire. But anyway, that's where we are on that. Okay, we're almost done. Got that ready to install. Now we're going to arrange the um, a few plugs with 12 volts. I don't think I can come all the way around. I really wanted one on this side. I just don't see how I'm going to make that possible. Okay guys, it's another day and I'm going to quickly run over what happened last night when it got too dark to, to film. Alright, um, the boat is cleaner because I high pressure washed it after, uh, after I did most of the work. But, here's the update. What I've done is I had to cut a bigger hole here to put my little, uh, sort of a little control panel here. Alright. What I did is I also used the wire that originally was switched over to here. I used that wire to pull another wire through that is going to be constantly hot. Okay? So I've now, now this one is constantly hot and this one is going to be switched. This one for the future is going to be the, uh, the interior lights. Uh, I'm going to shop around tonight and order two things. I need a troll motor. I need one more of these but they're sold out right now. I need one more of these for the troll motor for my wife's kayak and I'm going to go ahead and order. I figure 16 foot will light up all the way around here which is most of the bottom of the kayak and then I'll set up hers the same way. In other words one switch for the um, uh, anchor light navigation light and courtesy light or uh, in uh, what, do you, what, do you, what do you want to call it um, interior lights courtesy lights so that's what that's what I, that's what the plan is so uh, also uh, the fish finder doesn't have a rotate it won't rotate so it was going to be constantly pointing towards my rod holder there. Uh, so what I did is I had this left over from a, a um, table saw to keep my 2x4 straight when I was cutting. I don't use it. I've actually got two because I've, I've already burned out two table saws. So I said, you know what? I went ahead and mounted a piece of 2x4 on there and this has a little, it has actually a, a a little bearing in there that actually allows it to set at a certain position. So what I did is I took off the rail that was originally here anyway, a lot before. So now I just put the aluminum and just drilled a hole here and here. I didn't put one in the back because uh, it would interfere with this uh, um, indexer. So that's what this marble is, is an indexer. So now uh, I can set it at any degree I want. Uh, up to 60 I guess uh, so that I can so it'll face the inside of the boat or if my son is fishing with me I can show him what's going on see that's got pretty good range there I'm gonna leave it at 15 degrees so that's uh, that's gonna work out just fine right there uh, anyway that's the update uh, uh, what else did we do last night well um, we finished the the transducer so now the transducer is set up. Uh, the holes didn't match, so I, this morning I went and got some clear silicon and silicon the uh, the the old holes and then put in the new one. Uh, and it it will give if I ever hit anything. So I set it. I didn't set it too tight. So it'll it, it, it should adjust. All right. What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, I reversed this handle. Uh, it used to be in the front. So basically, you just pointed the handle in the direction you want to go but it was interfering with my seat that was here too close so I reversed it and now basically this points in the direction I want to go no big deal but this is out of my way um, 
That's about it. Yep, that'll do it. I'll let you. I'll I'll come back and, and show you um, finished product. Update on how I wired this. Uh, I ran a continuity test to find out what the middle one for was for, and it it obviously doesn't lead anywhere. Uh, the this one is the tip, which is going to be positive, and this is the negative which is on the outside this does not lead I tested it and it doesn't lead anywhere so I just um, jumpered it from here to here and that make that negative and make this positive so that's how I wired that up and this is just going to go right here to give me my crappie light power and if I want uh, in the future uh, power up a, a spotlight or something while I'm uh, kayaking back to the um, boat ramp so that's how I wired that up, and that's basically a, a dual outlet for a um, cable box is what that is. Uh, I just painted it black to make it look good, kind of a hammered steel. And then uh, this is all, uh, this is all. Uh, uh, I, I did have to waller it out a little bit, or drill it out a little bit, because uh, the uh, the new one didn't fit in there. The, these little plugs didn't fit in there, but uh, that looks great. All right, guys. Uh, sorry, sometimes I get ahead of myself. Uh, what I did is I was actually looking, I went to Home Depot and I was looking for the uh, silicon, the clear silicon to put on these um, lights and all the holes and I picked up a carpet. Uh, this is an outdoor rubber backed carpet and it's a dark color which matches the kayak but it won't get hot like uh, let's say a piece of, uh, piece of rubber. Uh, wood in the sun uh, and then that would be very uncomfortable on your bare feet but as I did is I what I did is I cut a pattern that matches my hole obviously I ad libbed here and then reversed it marked the center and four inches and laid it on the back and you can see the piece here I laid it on the back of the um, on the back of the uh, rubber mat using this line as a center okay and then I marked it with a silver marker so so I knew exactly from the bump to the back but I, like I said I ad-libbed here and what I did is I marked it out and then cut it with, an, with the um, a blade and that's the piece that's left over and I went over here and I and it fits perfect if it's perfect, I may have to trim a little bit here, but around this corner, I'm, I'm debating whether to secure it by putting this back on here. It'll secure it, but then it won't be removable so I can wash it because it's going to get fishy smelly or wash it in place. Uh, I just won't be able to get to my scuffer holes, but I've noticed that this kayak doesn't fill up with water here. It fills up with water in the back since I that way it'll give me a, at least this much room before I was actually sitting right here then no room for my feet other than here but now I will scoot the seat back to here so I will actually have about 10 inches that I can transfer my feet from one side to the other if I have to balance myself on the kayak to stand up I really want to stand up on this thing I, I, I can do it but I have to do it here and then twist my body um, but anyway, that's where I am. I think what I'm going to do is I, I'm, I'm probably just going to secure it here with two screws. So that way it'll hold this carpet in position and when I'm going down the road it's not going to fly out. Although if I secure it here, it, it, it'll flop over but it's not going to... And it's pretty heavy. This is actually pretty thick rubber. But it feels great. I don't think this is going to get hot. And I think I think that way my, my feet will, will at least dry up while the water seeps down or something. Because I hate when I'm fishing at night and my feet are wet all night. Alright, well that's where we're at. That's the update. Okay guys, um, my wife's kayak is still messed up back there. But here's how I organized my front uh, storage. Uh, I actually made a floating light for the, for the um, night fishing. Uh, I have a submersible light that I can also use for, for it in the same connection. 
or I can use this one to kind of guide myself in the direction I'm going uh, back to the boat ramp if I need to uh, or I can uh, lay it on the side of my kayak I've done that before to light my fishing poles so I can see my fishing poles without blinding me but that's how that works there I didn't connect my battery yet got a fishing fishing trip planned but it was extremely windy today um, well there's the carpet uh, I also made another light pole to light up this area uh, that'll hook up into the same same area there uh, I got all my gear back in uh, my tackle boxes uh, this usually goes under my under my seat until I get there uh, all right here let me show you what it looks like in the dark That's my nav light, my 360 nav light, anchor light. This is my navigation lights, and they are really, really slick looking. Makes the kayak look really, really good. And I don't have to worry about anything sticking out. Turn the light back on. All right. Um, if you are under power um, in the state of Texas, you have to have the red and green light and the anchor light. Uh, you can turn the navigation lights when you anchor, but you've got to have the 360 anchor light. But anyway, everything's back to normal. We're ready to go on the first trip. It was just extremely windy today. All right, well, we worked on it all day, got it going. So I hope you like this uh, video. I tried to make it as short as possible to, uh, to show you. I, it's, I, uh, by the way, I will be doing my wife's kayak next. I've got most of the components for it too. But uh, hey, leave me a comment on what else you would like to know and I'll do it to my boat or I'll do it to my kayak. So uh, if you got any ideas, any suggestions, uh, let me know. All right um share give me a thumbs up and again thanks for coming and if it jerks set the hook see you later bye